fine. He's flirting with the nurses and giving everybody a hard time, cracking jokes, and he's even proclaiming that he's going to be here at the service today. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure he will. Look, Cord, would you mind standing up for me since Max is not going to make it? Not at all, Steve. I'd be honored. Thanks. You listen, you, uh, you better run upstairs and tell Gabrielle that he's okay, because she's probably been up all night worrying about him. Well, as I came in, I just saw her headed towards the kitchen, I think. Max still hasn't figured out who stabbed him? No, he hasn't, and unfortunately, neither have the police. It's so awful. This world is getting more and more violent. I think I'm going to go and see if Gabrielle needs help getting dressed, and uh, everything is under control here, so will you please relax? Yeah, great. Easy for you to say. Oh, yeah? What is this? Last-minute case of the nerves? I remember you telling me that you were real calm about this whole thing. I don't understand. Neither do I. I can't seem to get out of this feeling. And I, I, I don't seem to be able to get into the spirit of my wedding day. But, Gabrielle, I mean, you know that Max is going to be all right, so perhaps this is simply anxiety over taking a big step. But what if... Go on. What if I'm doing something I shouldn't do? Don't you love Steve enough to want to marry him? Of course I do. He's going to make a wonderful father to Alan, a terrific husband. Why are you so angry? At myself. For feeling these feelings, I... I don't know. I'm gonna go upstairs and... then everything will be just fine as soon as I'm in my gown. There'll be nothing to worry about. Clint, please, I, I need to make this deal with you now, and I'll tell Gabrielle about it later. Are you sure, Steve? I mean, having had a little experience with marriage and women, Gabrielle might resent you making such a big decision without her knowledge. And I'll second that. <laughs> Look, we need to start a new life. We, we need to get out of this town. It's that simple. So I'm going to make this decision for both of us. Packed up and ready to move? Uh, yeah, Ray. Dad says we can ride the horses first thing in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I remember growing up on a ranch. I envy you guys. I wouldn't trade those days for the world. Well, why don't you come with us? Believe me, I'm half tempted. But I still got a lot of work to do. How will we know when Gabrielle is ready? Tina's gonna come in here and give us a signal. Yeah, presuming it comes. <laughs> uh, Father, could you excuse us for a second? I think I'd like to have a word with the uh, nervous bride group. Oh, of course. Steve, are you all right? I mean, you seem a little tense or something. Are, are you starting to have second thoughts? <laughs> no, not me, no. Uh -uh. Good. Well, I mean, you and Gabrielle, you haven't had any kind of argument or disagreement, have you? No, no, we're just fine. That's why we're getting married. Look, we're going to be fine, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, it's probably just Max in the hospital. And no, no, like no, 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 no. Max, Max has nothing to do with this, okay? Oh, excuse me. I think we can start the music. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like my cue. Honey, will you make sure everyone takes their places? Absolutely. The door's closed. Oh, right? my darling. You are going to have a daddy, and we are going to have a wonderful family. Yeah. Oh, 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 Gabrielle, honey, you are just going to have the best wedding ever. Yes. Oh, of course I am. <laughs> Excuse me, I understand there's a beautiful bride out here whom I have the honor of escorting into the library. Oh, yes, Clint, and she is beautiful, too. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Okay. Now, Joey, go sit next to Dad. Dear friends, we are gathered together in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in the bonds of holy matrimony, which is a holy estate blessed by God and signifying the mystery of the connection between Jesus Christ and his church. Stephen and Gabrielle, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. We have. 
Into this holy union, Stephen and Gabrielle now come to be joined. If any of you here now present knows any reason why this man and this woman should not be joined together in marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Hey. I got a reason. What? What are you doing here? The best man. I'll stand up with my brother like he's supposed to. Then come on, please sit down. Oh, no, please. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and these witnesses. I, Stephen, take you, Gabrielle, for my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health as long as we both shall live. I, Gabrielle, take you, Stephen, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for rich, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. The rings, please. May the Lord bless these rings that you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Amen. Amen. What's wrong? Gabrielle, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Stephen and Gabrielle, inasmuch as you have consented to live together in holy wedlock by solemn vows, with the joining of hand, and with the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath brought together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us ask God for his continued blessing upon this bridegroom and his bride, so that they may together rejoice in his gift of marriage. May they reach old age in the company of friends, and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. You may kiss the bride. Hey, hey, I get the first handshake here. Right. You are unbelievable, yeah, Max. The bride. Mm, congratulations. Oh, you know, I can't believe it, Daddy. I actually locked his clothes up in the closet so he wouldn't slip out of the hospital. Yeah, I have to apologize for the uniform. It's the best I could do. <laughs> Gabrielle, you look absolutely stunning. Doesn't she, though? Well, I think it's time for some champagne. Oh, wait just a minute. Before everybody moves, I have a little announcement to make. It is my wedding gift to my bride, to our <laughs> son, and to our future. <sighs> So I finally get to find out what this great surprise is all about? Yes, you do. <laughs> it is our ranch. Clint has agreed to sell me a piece of land on his ranch. We are going to build a house, buy cattle, and design our own brand, and set down our roots in Arizona. Oh, you're moving to Arizona? Right after the honeymoon. 